Good morning. I'm Deputy Chief Gavin Sather. Uh, I want to give you an update this morning uh, on a case from last week. So uh, I will be brief with that. I can't give you a lot of details, kind of, but I'll give you some information here this morning. So reference to this case is reference to the sexual assault that occurred uh, Sunday evening, the 11th, uh, in the 1400 block of North Smith. The Wichita Police Department and officers arrested a 23-year-old male in reference to this case. That suspect was arrested and booked uh, last night for the following charges of attempted first-degree murder, aggravated kidnapping, aggravated burglary, rape of a child under 13, and aggravated sodomy. This investigation has been a very active and involved many of our partners to include the Sedgwick County Forensic Science Center, District Attorney's Office, Kansas Bureau of Investigations, Sedgwick County Sheriff's Office, Wichita Police Department's Violent Crimes Task Force, the Exploiting Missing Child's Unit, and as well as the Internet Crimes Against Children's Unit. These detectives, they work tirelessly through the night and, with these, uh, and in partnership with these agencies. And that's what's got us to this point. So we appreciate their efforts. Uh, as I mentioned, this is still a very active and ongoing investigation, so I'm not able to comment on a lot of details. Just know that our thoughts and prayers are with the family of the victim and that victim. Thank you. Again, that will get into some of the details of the case that I won't discuss at this point in time. As I mentioned, it's very, very active. We're, um, we're in, uh, interviewing and stuff as we speak right now, so I don't want to get into that. Those charges you will see as the affidavits and stuff become available. He was arrested uh, at a place of employment. Did you live at that apartment complex? Uh, I will not give that information at this point. Sorry. Murder charge is that part of the same case? It is all part of the same case. Every charge that is on here is all part of the same case. Thank you, DC. Any update on the child's condition? Child, uh, at this point in time, is doing well uh, and is with her family. And we, again, we are in contact with her and, and her family. And uh, so just Please keep her and her family in your thoughts and prayers. Any idea when the case will be presented to the DA? Uh, likely will probably be next week sometime. And as we get further information, if we can, we can release that to you. Okay? Hey, could you give me the case number on that one? Case number is 17C-039-410. 410. 410. Thank you all. I appreciate your time this morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm going to go over the crime of the week. Uh, this week we're featuring an incident that happened uh, early morning hours of June 2nd. Uh, it happened in the 1100 block of Southwest Street. An unknown suspect smashed in the door at a business by the name of ICT Billet. It's an aftermarket automotive parts store. Uh, the suspect took a $600 uh, intake manifold and left out of the door that he broke into. He was driving a green two-door car, and an unknown woman remained in the passenger seat during the crime. Uh, the, excuse me, the damage to the door was about $250, and two employees were inside of the business at the time this occurred, but in a different part. There was a lot of loud machinery going on, so they didn't hear anything and didn't learn aware that the crime occurred. We have pictures on social media of the suspect. The business had very good video cameras uh, of both inside, the ins inside of the business and outside as well as the vehicle. So we're asking if anybody recognizes these pictures of either the vehicle or the suspect. Uh, if you don't, if you want to remain anonymous and don't want to directly speak with detectives, you can call 267-2111 and you will be anonymous and possibly eligible for a reward through Crime Stoppers. You can always download the new P3 app you have an Android or an iPhone um, and you can also go on to our uh, website and make a tip through the web as well. I'm also going to give a quick update on our warrant project that we kicked off earlier this month in which we had 15 offenders that were registered 
Uh, we had a billboard up for a few weeks. A lot of tips came in. Yesterday we received a tip early morning, about 9.30 in the morning, and that was immediately sent out to the investigators working on this particular case, and Joffrey L. Morris was arrested due to the tip that came in. Um, he'd been uh, sought after by KDOC and the U.S. Marshals for several months um, on a parole violation, and he was also booked in on two additional new charges that he had been charged for on an incident that happened earlier this year. So again, please keep those tips coming in. Um, that, that was a very, very helpful tip that came in, and we encourage people to keep doing that. Thank you.